facilitators of Thursday's Climate Change Seminar in Tobago noted the island's agricultural industry must be transformed and recounted what farmers experienced last year. The ideal conditions for tomato to flower, I'm just giving a generalization, ranges 18, 19 degrees Celsius, nighttime temperatures, no more than 25, 26. What are they? What was it like last year, Mom? 35, 35 plus. Let's understand what that means. It means the tomato couldn't flower properly. Tobago's farmers received assurance of support from the THA through the Tobago Agricultural Research Institute Committee who will conduct research on their behalf. Climate smart technologies and exploring various techniques for resilient farming. These include indoor farms, greenhouses and hydroponics, which mitigate the impact of, of the mentioned disasters, such as flooding and extreme temperatures due to controlled environment. And the Partners Republic Bank Limited noted the initiative is in alignment with their power to make a difference pillar. We firmly believe that education and innovation are the cornerstones of progress, particularly in the agricultural sector. Hence, we are pleased to support this outreach, which provides educational opportunities to local farmers and introduce them to new techniques for crop development amidst the challenges posed by climate change. Meanwhile, President of the Argyle United Farmers Development Group implored fellow agricultural stakeholders to take responsibility for their farming practices. Harsh chemicals, pesticide, contribute to water pollution and air pollution that can over time result in global warming right, and climate change. So we, as farmers, we need to do our part so that we don't contribute. Managing crops through drought, flood and extreme heat and the global climate change perspective were some of the topics discussed at Thursday's seminar. Carissa Douglas, TTT News.